Oh, we're doing this again? All right, let's go. So I'm going to be talking about 15 reasons why vaccinating your child won't cause autism. So if there's any anti-vaxxers there, I'm just gonna help your kid not get killed in the process. So yeah, let's get onto it. Top 15 reasons why vaccines won't cause autism. Number 15. Autism occurrence by MMR vaccine status among US children with an older sibling or without autism. The objective of the study was to investigate status in a large sample of US children who have older siblings with and without ASD. In the conclusion of the study, in this large sample of privately insured children with older siblings, a recept of the MMR vaccine was not associated with the increased risk of ASD, regardless of whether older siblings had ASD. These findings indicate no harmful associations between MMR vaccines, recept, and ASD, even among children already higher risk for ASD. Number 14. No evidence of pure citing measles virus in peripheral blood mononuclear cells from children with the autism spectrum disorder. In this experiment that they conducted, 54 subjects of children with autism spectrum disorder and 34 developedly normal children. In the conclusion of this experiment, there is no evidence of measles virus parasitants in the parafilm blood mononuclear cells of children with autism spectrum disorder. <laughs> Number 12. Measles, mumps, rubella, vaccinations, and autism. The nationwide cohort study included all over 600,000 children born in 1999 through 2010 in Denmark. With this many participants, the researchers were able to look at vaccinated versus non-vaccinated children, including over 6,000 children with diagnosis of autism. Conclusion of this study, the findings strongly support that MMR vaccinations does not increase the risk of autism, does not trigger autism in supplemental children, and does not associate with any clustering of autism cases after vaccination. Number 13. Early exposure to the combined measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, and thermosa containing vaccines and risk of autism spectrum disorder. This case controlled study investigated the relationship between the risk of ASD onset and their early exposure to MMR vaccine and thermosa measured from vaccin vaccinations in the highly genetically humongous Japanese population. In conclusion, no convincing evidence was found in this study that MMR vaccinations and increasing thermosal dose were associated with the increase of ASD onset. Number 11. MMR vaccine and regressiveness in autism spectrum disorder. Negative results presented from Japan. There was over 900 subjects that were children with ASD. Keep in mind, EPIMR was used in Japan only between 1989 and 1993. In conclusion, during the period of MMR usage, no significant difference was found in the incidence of regression between MMR vaccinated children and non vaccinated children. Number 10. Vaccines are not associated with autism. An evidence-based meta-analysis of case control in cohort studies. A meta-analysis to summarize available evidence from five cohort studies involving 1.2 million children and five case control studies involving over 9,000 children. In conclusion, vaccinations are not associated with the development of autism or autism spectrum disorder. Furthermore, the components of the vaccines or multiple vaccines 
are not associated with the development of autism or ASD. Number nine. Persuasive development disorders in Mount Real, Quebec, Canada. Herbalance in links with immunizations. There was over 27,000 children born from 1987 to 1998 attending 55 schools. The findings ruled out an association between persuasive development disorder exposure comparable with those experiments in the United States in the 1990s or one or two dose measles, mumps, revelation vaccinations who the crap number eight immunization safety review adverse effect of vaccines evidence and casualty insulin of medicine the national academy's press 2011 evidence favors rejection of five vaccine adverse event relationships number seven Lack of associations between measles, mumps, rubella vacci- vaccination, and autism in children. A case control study. The 96 cases of childhood of optical autism aged 2 to 15 were, in- were included in a study group. Controls considered of 192 children individually matched to case by year of birth, sex, the study provides evidence against association of autism with either MMR or a single measles vaccine. Number 6. Measles vaccination and antibody response in autism spectrum disorders. There was 98 subjects for this experiment that were vaccinated children ages through 10 to 12 years old in the UK with autism. Two control groups of similar age, 52 children with special education needs but no ASD, and 90 children in typically developing group. No associations between measles vaccines and ASD was shown. Number five. Jesus, man, why do people think that kids get their kids get autism from freaking vaccines like oh, another extra chromosome just popped out of nowhere number four a population based study of measles mumps and rubella vaccinations and autism there was over 500,000 subjects born through 1991 to 1998 in Denmark the conclusion of the study provides strong evidence against the Hypothesis that MMR vaccinations cause autism. Number three. Time trends in autism and MMR immunizations coverage in California. Children born in 1980s through the 1994 who are enrolled in California kindergartens. In the conclusion of the study, these data do not suggest an association between MMMR immunization among young children increased autism occurrence. Number two, relation of children GTD to autism. Nested case control study using data from the UK General Practice Research Database. The subjects were 96 children diagnosed with autism and 449 controls. No evidence was found that children had autism. Number one. As you can tell so far, there is a lot of studies showing that there's no links to measles to autism, vaccines to autism. So please vaccinate your children because if you don't, they have a higher chance of dying.